All right, y'all, welcome back. It's Albert LaBelle, and the lock we got this time is a Master Lock number 15. It's a 5-pin 15 with security pins, uh, and I didn't know that until after I had got it to the house. Um, but yeah, recently picked this sucker up, but right here it's got the M15. I don't know if you can read that. It's really, really, really small right there, but it is a 15, and yes, it does have security pins. Um, first couple of times I tried to pick it, it was giving me a real hard time, and I couldn't figure out why until I finally did get it picked, and I realized what I was doing was I was oversetting, if you can tell by the key here, and this is what makes a lot of um, more basic locks a little bit harder to pick. We always talk about bidding. Sometimes when you see a key and it's really flat, kind of like a flat saw blade, uh, those are usually usually easier to pick and a lot of times very easy to rake because again the real flat bidding this one right here happens to have pretty darn decent bidding and let me grab a pointer and i'll show you if you're not familiar with it so the keys the cuts and the keys so you see we got a really so this is really like a uh so these are the cuts in the keys obviously so the key, when you get a blank, it goes straight across the top here. So when I say high, I mean this one hasn't been cut right here. So the pin needs to be pushed up really high in the back. This one right here is pretty low. So what I was doing when I was trying to pick it the first few times, I was oversetting this pin right here by setting that one. And I'll show you with the pick. I was using this pick right here, the gem. And every time I'd go back there to pick that back pin, it seems I was pushing this one up a little bit too high. Not until I switched to this dude right here, this higher hook right here, that I was able to deal with that. You see how that fits? You can get to that back pin without touching that one in front of it. But yeah, five pin with security pins, not bad. And these things, you know, Master Lock, we give them a lot of flack because of the cores and... and Rightfully so. They do have what Bosnia and Bill coined marshmallow cores. But this one's pretty decent being it's a five pin. A lot of them have four. Uh, and it does have security pins. So pretty decent. And if you're going to attack this thing like brute force with a hammer or something, you're going to be there a while. Pack a lunch. Because it is really tough. The laminated steel. Nice big uh, six-sided uh, shackle. Boron carbide. So, you know... Brute force, you're probably going to have to cut it, maybe break whatever it's locked to, or attack that core. But they're pretty tough. Armor tough. All right, so let's see. Uh, bada boom, bada bing. And this one here, not double ball locking, but bar locking. If you haven't seen those before, instead of the balls, the big balls <laughs> that a lot of the ball locking locks have, uh, these use more of a bar. They kind of go like that right there. They're just more like a roller bearing instead of a ball bearing. So they go that way. But still very, very tough. So again, brute force, good luck with that. You're better off cutting it or attacking that core. But yeah, let's see what it takes to pick into this. See if I can't do it. Well, the camera's on. You know how things change when that happens. Go with some top of keyway up here. And that high hook. Not real high, I'd say medium high, I guess. It's not like one of those fish hook looking picks. Alright, so I'm starting to back because, again, I have picked this before. So I know I've got to get that back pin just right. Five. Four. Let's see. All right, two. I got to do counter rotation for two because I believe that's a spool pin. So I got to bring it back for that sucker. I might have just got it. Oh, there we go. 
Bada boom, bada bing. See, sometimes, beans again, it is a five pin. It does have security pins. Sometimes I'll pick it up and I'll be there. I've got to do it three, four times and reset it because, again, that dang back pin, the one all the way in the back, that sucker back here. And then other times, like right now, I'll pick it up and pop it like a pro. But that's because I have picked it a couple times. But, yeah, pretty decent lock, I'd say. Um, something I would probably use, but... I do have better ones here. Uh, it's probably one of the better ones at my local home improvement store. So out of what they have on the rack, I'd probably go with this dude. Uh, probably the better option. But yeah, master lock number 15. Five pin with security pins. Pretty decent. All right, so there you go. Thanks for tuning in. I highly appreciate it. Remember, if you're not subscribed yet, you need to do so because all the cool people are doing it. And why be left out? Be cool. Thank you. <laughs>